Hello everyone, Marky Joe 1990 and I'm here to show you something absolutely revolutionary for the Fire Emblem hacking community. This is going to make Fire Emblem eventing so much easier, and it is thanks to our good old pal Cedar Nix, the creator of Matthew's Nightmare for RageFest 1, that we have this tool today. It is called, well, actually they're coming up with a name for it still, but... It is basically a tool for making your own events in Fire Emblem. So here we have the event output screen, which basically shows you like where, like what your events look like in the text. Because normally you would do your events in a notepad and like write all the codes and stuff to put it in the game. But this makes it for you, and you know, fiddling around with these changes what this does. So. I'm going to leave this the same. Basically, the chapter ID determines what chapter you're going to be changing. Like, which chapter's events you're changing. You're not changing the map. That's a separate thing altogether. Um, the start offset, uh, that's basically where the game, uh, where the events will be written. As you can see, it shows up right here. Ooh. The definitions I'm not going to worry about for now, but, for, but it's so far only for Fire Emblem 7. Uh, custom definitions that if that's if you have like extra definitions that you want to put into this uh, you you know uh, if your chapter has a preparation screen you can do that to you know I, I think these are pretty self-explanatory here actually so I'm not gonna get into them um, here you can make your like units and reinforcements and um, Right now we only have two unit blocks, which is good and bad. Uh, as you can see, they're used here and here. Uh, those are basically for... Uh, when you have a preparation screen uh, and you end the preparations, uh, the game will load whatever the good and the bad units are. Like, whatever's in those unit blocks. And currently those are empty, as you, as you can see from here. We're going to fill them up. We're going to... I'm going to edit the good unit block, and I'm going to put Ellie Wood right here. Uh, so you can edit his pretty much like his inventory, his position, his starting level, his alliance, all that jazz here. We're going to give him an iron sword, and we are also going to give him... Where is it? A vulnerary. That sounds good. He doesn't need AI. There's a ton of AI codes here. Um, we're not going to use those because he's an ally unit, and that would be pointless. So, now let's change the unit block to bad, and this is where we're going to take care of our bad units. In this case, I'm going to put Lynn there, and I'm going to make her class Brigand, because she's a goat demon. We're going to make her an enemy, obviously. Um, and as for her weapon, well, since she's a Brigand, obviously, she's going to need something to bash Eliwood's skull in, which is to say, an Iron Axe. And, uh... You know, let's give her some boots for good measure. Yeah, that sounds sounds about right. So yeah, there we go. See? She shows up right there. Isn't that amazing? Whoa! Anyway, um, on top of that, we also need to... Uh, since we don't have a preparation screen, we need to have the game manually uh, load, the, uh, load the units. And uh, it does that by basically making a turn event that goes to the opening event. And... The opening event is typically where you would want to put your load the units events uh, if you do not have a preparation screen. Um, so let's do that. We're going to edit the opening events using the event writer. And we're going to make a thing that makes the units appear. As you can see, it's pretty much already set up. Uh, we're going to load go good, which consisted of Eliwood. And we're going to make bad, which consisted of Lin. You can put, like, multiple units in, in a single unit block. But for the, this, like, example, I'm not going to do that. So, uh, there you go. The opening event loads the characters. The game, the, the events have already been set to, like, trigger the opening event anyway. So, the opening event's going to happen. It's going to load our units, as shown here. See? Load good, load bad. And then the chapter is going to start because that's all we have set for it. I'm not gonna dabble around with the event conditions. Uh, feel free to do that on your own, but yeah. Uh, there's also a definitions creator. I haven't really messed with that much, but once you're once you're done messing around with it, you just basically c 
Control A, Control C. You open up your notepad, you copy paste it there, and then in your event assembler, you browse for the text, and then you write, it, you find your ROM, and then you just assemble, and there we go, it's assembled. Now let us play the game and see what we have changed. Whoa! Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just humming to sync up the video after I, uh, after I, after I'm like done recording it. Uh, okay, I forgot to set something so that it goes out of beginning blackness. Um, I think there's a, I think one of these checkboxes actually fixes fixes that. But if you want to, like, see, you just press R and then you get out of it. And as you can see, our events were, in fact, a success. Here's Jellywood with his uh, Iron Sword and Volnerai, and here's Goat Demon with the boots, just as I wanted her. Holy crap, she uses swords and axes. So yeah, let's let's see how this fight goes. Wow, Lynn does not stand a chance. <laughs> You'd think she would, considering she has like ridiculously high skill at the beginning of the game, but oh well, I guess being a brigand really does uh, hinder her. But there you go. I'm not going to show the entire fight. Please, please, ladies and gentlemen, show your support for this. Go to the Emblem Brigade. Tell them they're awesome. Like, do whatever. Like, they they work really hard to get, like, extra members to their site. Because, they like, they have a tendency to struggle. Like, even after I promoted them during Rage Fest, they, they still seem to be struggling and stuff. And, you know... Though, sometimes they get new members and they're kind of obnoxious, but, you know. Feel free to give your support. Be nice there. That's, like, one of their biggest rules. And, uh, yeah, thanks, Cedar Nix. This is very revolutionary to, rom to Fire Emblem Hacking. I'm sure we're going to get a ton of Rage Fest submissions because of this, though. And I am going to slit my fucking wrists. But, uh, yeah. Have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your new super program.